the bottom line is if you got a hundred pounds to lose, here's what you need to do. Usually I find that people are not serious, meaning they, they want an answer, but they don't want to do the work, right? What you describe is a very rational, literally balanced approach. This is Dr. Andrew Huberman, a neuroscientist and professor at Stanford University, known for his groundbreaking research on how the brain and body function. When it comes to fat loss, Dr. Huberman combines his deep understanding of neuroscience with practical, science-backed strategies that actually work. Today, we'll explore his expert insights on how you can effectively lose weight faster than 99% of people. I have a question. I'm like, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's like, I think I need to get in shape. And at the time, he was carrying like an extra 50 or 60 pounds mm -hmm. of weight. Not to embarrass you, Mike, but you had what he called himself a pile. So <laughs> you were not a pile. You're still vertical. But, Sit right. And, um, and he said, uh, yeah, you know, I just don't feel good. You know, smoking too much, drinking mm -hmm. too much. I just don't feel good. And people ask me this kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. Like, what do I do? How do I sleep better? How do I stop stressing? And usually I find that people are not serious, meaning they, they want an answer, but they don't want to do the work. Right. Yeah. right. So I was like, look, it's really simple. Can you not eat until 2 PM? Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not hungry in the morning. I'm like, great. Drink coffee, drink water. And in the morning, get up and just get on either run or get on some exercise bike and just pedal like someone's chasing you with a syringe full of poison. Now let's talk about why this simple fat loss plan works extremely well for everyone and how you can incorporate it into your daily routine. Professor Andrew Huberman's simple yet extremely effective weight loss plan starts with exercising in a fasted state. But why does this work so well? Let me explain in a way anyone including you can easily understand. When you exercise in a fasted state, typically after you've been fasting overnight, your body has lower levels of insulin. Insulin is the hormone that helps store fat. When it's low, your body is more likely to tap into its fat reserves for energy during exercise. So, by working out on an empty stomach, you're essentially forcing your body to burn fat. In other words, you're using the fat in your body as energy. Dr. Huberman also recommends drinking water and coffee before exercising. Why? Staying hydrated is crucial for your body to function well during exercise, and coffee contains caffeine, which can boost your metabolism. Caffeine helps your body release stored fat, making it even easier to burn during your workout. Plus, it gives you an energy boost so you can push yourself harder and burn even more calories. The combination of exercising while fasted and drinking coffee maximizes fat burning by turning your body into a more efficient fat burning machine. This method is backed by science, but simple enough for anyone to follow, and it works. Now the next information that I'm about to share with you is a must know if you are serious about losing weight. For the first few days, you are going to be tempted to eat when you're fasting. This is completely normal, and I think it will help you knowing that it will eventually die off. Now, some of you might think the exercise routine Andrew Huberman mentioned, which was running or cycling as hard as you can, is too simple to be effective. But the actual fact is, when it comes to weight loss, the most crucial thing is not the number of exercises or the specific type of exercise, but the general concept of movement itself. You simply have to move faster and more often. Here are some of the simplest, scientifically proven exercises that anyone can do to lose weight fast. One, walking. Believe it or not, brisk walking is one of the easiest and most effective ways to burn calories. It's low impact, making it perfect for beginners and can be done anywhere. Jumping jacks. This full body movement raises your heart rate quickly, helping you burn fat while improving cardiovascular health. Three, bodyweight squats. Squats target multiple muscles in the legs and core, boosting fat burning by engaging large muscle groups. Four, push-ups. A great upper body exercise that strengthens the chest, shoulders, and arms, while also engaging your core, making it efficient for fat loss. Five, burpees. Known as one of the most effective fat burning exercises, burpees combine strength and cardio to torch calories and boost metabolism. These simple exercises are easy to incorporate into any routine and don't require equipment, making them perfect for anyone, including you, to shed fat quickly. So after you've completed your workout, the next big thing you have to do is eat. But what should you eat to guarantee fast weight loss? The answer is simple, green vegetables. 
So why do they work so well? First, green veggies like spinach, kale, and broccoli are incredibly low in calories but high in fiber. This means you can eat a lot of them, feel full, but not rack up the calories. Fiber also helps your body digest food more slowly, keeping you satisfied longer and reducing the urge to snack on unhealthy foods. Green vegetables are also packed with essential nutrients like vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. These not only support your overall health but help regulate your metabolism, making your body more efficient at burning fat. Plus, they're rich in water content, helping you stay hydrated and promoting a healthy digestion process. Incorporating more green veggies into your diet gives your body the nutrients it needs while keeping your calorie intake low, making it one of the most effective strategies for fasting and sustainable weight loss. How should people think about what to eat? The largest portion is gonna be your fibrous carbohydrates. So that's the, 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 you know, the green vegetables, right? So whether it be broccoli or Brussels sprouts or asparagus or, you know, um, you know pick, your, pick your favorites, you know, like those are the ones that give us a lot of the micronutrients we need. They're the ones that are generally, you know, accepted as more healthy. Um, and they're also going to provide the fiber that's going to be both beneficial in terms of its uh, impact on insulin and also just through filling you up. Here are five common green vegetables that have been shown to support weight loss. One, spinach. Low in calories and high in fiber, spinach helps you feel full while providing essential nutrients like iron and magnesium. Two, kale. Rich in fiber and antioxidants, kale is a nutrient-dense vegetable that supports fat loss and boosts metabolism. Three. Broccoli. High in fiber and water content, broccoli fills you up quickly while being low in calories, making it perfect for weight loss. 4. Cabbage. 5. Green beans. These greens are not only nutritious, but are excellent choices for anyone looking to lose weight efficiently. When you've been asleep all night, your fuel reserves, like you've got fuel in your fat, you, you guys don't have any of that, but you got fuel in your fat, you've got fuel in your muscles that can mm -hmm. be burned, and you've got fuel in your liver, it's called glycogen. And mm -hmm. when you wake up early, all of that is as low as it's gonna be because you haven't been eating anything. Got you. And so if you exercise then, your body starts dropping into your body fat stores quicker. So what I was trying to give Mike was a, was a tool that would allow him to see some results really quickly. Oh. So I said, look, do it fasted mm -hmm. and then continue to hydrate and then eat your first meal in the afternoon. And I said, and also, it, you know, do you like drinking? And he was like, well, I don't know. I drink mostly because it kind of sets me straight up here. And I was like, well, we can talk about the stuff to kind of set your head level. I mean, he wasn't spun out. He just obviously was medicating with alcohol. Sure. <laughs> so I said, you know, would you be willing to drop the drinking or, or you know, pair it back? Yeah. And he said, sure. Alcohol makes it literally impossible to burn fat because of how your body processes it. Dr. Andrew Huberman explains that when you drink alcohol, your body prioritizes breaking it down over everything else, including burning fat. Here's why. Alcohol is seen by your body as a toxin, so when you consume it, your liver works hard to metabolize and get rid of it. During this process, your body halts fat burning because it focuses entirely on removing the alcohol from your system. This means the calories you consume from food, instead of being used or burned, are more likely to be stored as fat. Additionally, alcohol can disrupt your sleep and lower your inhibitions, making you more likely to overeat or choose unhealthy foods. All of these factors make fat loss far more difficult when alcohol is part of your routine. Yes, this is not often talked about, making it one of the silent reasons why people can't lose fat. But if you're to take the expert insights shared in this video, there's no doubt that you will lose weight faster than 99% of people. What experiences do you have with fat loss? Share it with us in the comments below.